Hi, this is Apurva Kaloskar and Anju Sadanandan. And uh, today we will be demonstrating our project of 6th semester design engineering subject. The title of our project is uh, an automated irrigation system using Raspberry Pi. So, I'll just show you how the things work around here. In the previous semester, I had shown, uh, we had shown the setup of uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, we had created a video for the same and shared it on YouTube. In this semester, we have created the rest of the circuit and completed, completed the project successfully. I'll uh, show you how many, uh, all the components of this project. Uh, this is a, a solenoid valve. This is the circuit uh, which about which I'll talk later. This is a transformer and this is our Raspberry Pi board. Okay, so um, this is the uh, output pin of Raspberry Pi GPIO 18 and it uh, provides a high signal when we click the on button on from our website and uh, this is the ground pin which supplies 0 volt to, the, to this pin because of this it creates a potential difference here and uh, because of which the entire circuit works this is a resistor also this is a resistor this is uh, an MCT2E optocoupler its function is to isolate the Raspberry Pi with the external circuit so that uh, just because of any electrical failures it, it might not get burned this, these two are the transistors right here its function is to uh, switch the current and uh, voltage this is the uh, transformer it is connected to the two, 230 volt uh, mains AC supply and uh, it, it, is, uh, it steps, steps the voltage down at uh, 12 volt and 1 ampere from here, the voltage passes on to this uh, bridge of 1 ampere and this capacitor of 50 volts and uh, 100 microfarad. Together, the transformer, the bridge and the uh, capacitor act as a rectifier circuit. Because of which, the 230 volt AC supply is stepped down and converted to 12 volts DC supply and given to the solenoid valve. Now my friend Anju will show the rest of the working. Uh, hello, I am Anju. As Apurva explained uh, about the internal structure and the working of the circuit, now I will demonstrate it through the website that we have created. So this is the website that we have created. That's basic, that it basically means http localhost gpi.php. This is a PHP page that we have created on our own which looks like this and it uses some basic PHP techniques as well as uh, PHP methods like ESET and uh, GET methods and also some HTML tags for uh, the two buttons that we have been displayed here on and off and uh, also some CSS files for the de uh, for decoration uh, decorating our website. So as you can see here the local host it indicates the uh, uh, IP address of the Raspberry Pi that is 196.1 192.168.0.100 now we'll switch on to the dem uh, for demonstrating this project now you can see this is the water supply that we are providing and uh, it is connected to the solenoid wall on both the sides now on clicking this switch or the button on we can see The water has started flowing into the cup. Now on switching off from this button so we can see that the water supply has stopped. So with the help of this website, we can remotely access from, uh, from uh, anywhere around the world using the IP address of our Raspberry Pi and uh, using this uh, address http 192.168.0.100 slash gpio.php. Thank you.